We didn't think this day would come, but here we are. After almost two decades, Constantine 2 is in the works, and this spells a big question mark for the universe. Join us in today's video as we see why Keanu Reeves' sequel finally got the green light from Warner Bros. For more details on the movie and how it will tie in with the DCEU, keep watching. First up, let's talk about the movie getting the green light. So, director Francis Lawrence will return to helm the Reeves-led sequel, and Akiva Goldsman, who produced the original DC slash vertical adaptation penning the script. Seems like a pretty solid start, right? Though it received mixed reviews from reviewers and fans at the time, the first Constantine film has since gained quite a cult-like following. Now, people really love the iconic occult investigator. So, Lawrence discussed the highly anticipated Constantine 2 in a recent interview with Collider for Netflix's Slumberland. The original film's director described why the sequel was ultimately greenlit, and the reason is pretty crazy. His appearance on the late show with Stephen Colbert and the audience's enthusiastic response to his wanting the sequel is actually what sparked Warner Bros. interest in finally getting the project off the ground. Up next, Keanu's Constantine 2 commitment has never wavered. Despite the mixed reactions to the first film and the decade that passed between its debut and the announcements of the sequel, Reeves has always held firm. He wanted to make the sequel a reality, and lo and behold, that's finally coming true. True. Even before the Colbert interview, in which Reeves revealed that he'd tried and failed many times to develop a sequel, the John Wick star had shown a desire to revisit the character in some form. Though some are divided about the changes made to the character, such as his lack of blonde hair and British accent, it's difficult to deny the commitment that went into bringing Constantine back to the big screen. Many are okay with overlooking the differences for the passion he brings to the screen. Interestingly, negative reviews for the previous film were not the only issue preventing Reeves' Constantine 2 from being filmed. Let's look at some of these issues next. As Lawrence points out, WB and DC had many ideas for the character that spanned both cinema and television, including the short-lived Matt Ryan-led program Legends of Tomorrow, various animated featured appearances, and J.J. Abrams' HBO Max revival show. Though the latter project was thought to have been shelved in favor of Reeves' Constantine 2, a fresh source reveals that it's still in the works, with the studio marketing the rights to other networks and streaming services. Though the wait may have been unpleasant for fans of the original movie, the fact that Constantine 2 is going forward has many eager about what's to come. Let's not get our hopes too high though, since it's too early for any major details. The director has already said that the movie's still in the early stages of development, with him, Reeves, and Goldsman still figuring out the story for Constantine 2. Still, things aren't too bad as the team is pretty confident and plans to start working sooner rather than later. While waiting for more information on the sequel, fans may re-watch Reeves' DC debut with the first Constantine, which is currently streaming on HBO Max. You won't regret it. Don't go anywhere, because we have a lot more DCEU news for you. Moving on, Constantine 2 continues DC's Justice League's dark problem. So, we're pretty happy the John Wick actor is coming back, but what does this mean for J.J. Abrams' Justice League dark universe? After all, the sequel is putting his Justice League Dark Universe in jeopardy. Many were surprised to learn that a sequel to 2005's Constantine was in the works, with J.J. Abrams' Constantine HBO Max project apparently in the casting process. Honestly, the DCEU has been struggling recently, and this just adds to it. Anyway, the 2005 film began as a Tarsem Singh film starring Nicolas Cage as Constantine. Tarsem Singh eventually left the picture owing to creative issues, which led to Nicolas Cage leaving the DC film as well. By the time Francis Lawrence agreed to join, Keanu Reeves had already been cast as the first live-action John Constantine. What a messy start. Coming up, we thought we'd never get here. While not as faithful to the comics as other DC films and television episodes, Constantine's recognized as a pretty interesting take on the character. But sadly, the film only grossed $230.9 million at the box office on a budget of $100 million, which is why it didn't earn an instant sequel. Still, as part of the Keanu Reeves revival, many fans hoped that the actor would return for a Constantine 2 film, similar to how he did for Bill and Ted Face the Music and The Matrix Resurrections. But all hope was becoming lost as it seemed like the sequel would never materialize, especially since J.J. Abrams was already developing a Justice League Dark Universe for HBO Max, which would include John Constantine. So, the announcement of the new film and the future of J.J. Abrams 
Abrams' Dark Universe project is linked, and it appears that a Justice League Dark film or television series is no longer a Warner Bros. priority. Up next, is the Constantine show still happening in the DCEU? Okay, so John Constantine is one of the most prominent DC characters when it comes to the supernatural side of the world. The character was slated to be the major foundation of J.J. Abrams' Justice League Dark Realm. While no official cast was ever confirmed for Abrams' Bad Robots Constantine DC TV project for HBO Max, the show was apparently eyeing Shobat Dirisu for the part of Constantine. And let's not forget, one of the reasons Legends of Tomorrow could no longer use Constantine was because Warner Bros. had plans for the character. The fact that Joanna Constantine instead of John Constantine appears in Netflix's Sandman was also because WB had certain plans. Following the announcement of Keanu Reeves' Constantine 2, Variety stated that J.J. Abrams' Constantine series will no longer be developed at HBO Max. What's more, HBO Max has also cancelled J.J. Abrams' Madam X series, which would have revolved around DC comic sorceress Madam Xanadu. But if you are excited about these projects, don't worry. Constantine and Madam X will most probably be picked up by other networks. After all, this is similar to what happened with Batman The Caped Crusader, another J.J. Abrams movie that was cancelled by HBO Max and is now being sold to other networks. Next, what does J.J. Abrams' Justice League Dark Universe mean for Constantine 2? Even if the Constantine and Madam X episodes are being picked up by other networks, the fact that HBO Max has passed on both projects signals danger for J.J. Abrams' Justice League Dark Universe. With the two series not coming to HBO Max, which has previously housed DCEU related films like Suicide Squad and Peacemaker, it's tough to see a Justice League Dark Universe. Anyway, the upcoming sequel appears to have no ties to the Dark Universe other than the fact that it's also produced by Bad Robot. And while Constantine 2 might fit into the DCEU, it appears to be a legacy sequel rather than the start of a multi-platform series. Let's talk about the DC's Justice League Dark Struggle. All this drama and uncertainty add to DC's nine-year effort to produce a Justice League Dark picture. The adventure began in 2013 when Guillermo del Toro announced that he was working on a Dark Universe film. When Warner Bros. was putting together what would become the DCEU with films like Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice and Suicide Squad, del Toro's Dark Universe feature was in the works. While the renowned director first said that his project will be unrelated to Man of Steel and other DC films, he then allowed that Dark Universe may be a part of the DCEU. But sadly, this film never materialized, but the filmmaker remained an executive producer on the project, which eventually hired Doug Liman as director. Doug Liman joined the project in 2016, and the most recent draft of the script is still based on Del Toro's initial idea. And then, even Liman left the Dark Universe project in March of 2017. A hunt for a new director for Justice League Dark began, but there were no more updates until J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot got on board. So the man was our only hope. Finally, will the DCEU still have a Justice League Dark? One of the major challenges in creating a Justice League Dark universe was the fact that the DCEU never became an established universe in its own right. There's now a lot of doubt around the DCEU as a brand, helped a little by the fact that Henry Cavill is back on board. Hallelujah. The DCEU has been on a roller coaster recently, the most recent change being that the Warner Bros. Discovery merger. Along with that, the future of HBO Max is uncertain too, and with it comes bad news. We hate to say this, but the universe of movies and series that J.J. Abrams had planned for HBO Max is unlikely to materialize. A Justice League Dark film might yet happen, but it all hinges on what happens with the DCEU in the next few years. Still, it's safe to say that the Justice League Dark film will remain dormant for the foreseeable future, especially since Constantine 2 is in the works now. That's a wrap for this video. Are you stoked for Constantine 2? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one and thanks for watching.